everybody it's monday morning welcome back to another week in my life i woke up early because i actually slept at ryan's last night and he wakes up early for for school <laughs> for work so i just got up and got after it i'm on my second cup of coffee i had some nice moments reading i read for about 30 minutes i'm currently reading the perfect couple by ellen hildebrand it's so good already. I love Ellen Hildebrand's writing, as you guys know. I also just upgraded to the Kindle Oasis, which I'm really excited about. I'll keep you guys posted on my um, opinions on it. So far, I like it. I got it because there's these page turner buttons right here. And there's also this little grip on the back. And apparently, like, let's say you're left-handed. If you just flip it over when it's on, it'll just adjust and start going that way instead. Um, and I also got the ad free one so it doesn't show ads on the front page It just shows you can either do like pretty pictures or I, I chose to show like the title of the book I'm reading which I think is cool. Anyways, I was gonna go straight to the grocery store But the grocery store didn't open till 7 30 So it's almost 8 now and I've made a little grocery list because I really I really want to get back on my You know cooking at home grind. I really enjoy it and I want to just put some more nutritious things into my body I've been traveling eating out a lot um, so this is like a little look at my grocery list if you guys are curious. I'm gonna get stuff to make oatmeal, avocado, I have an avocado obsession right now, and yes, my nail broke, I know, sad. So I'm gonna get lots of avocado, more half and half, eggs, broccoli, turkey, some sort of bread, flowers for my table because that sounds lovely, chicken, ground turkey, lettuce, tomato, taco seasoning, kombucha. I want to make like an at-home kava bowl, so these are the things, <laughs> cherry and tomato, that's one word. These are the things I typically put in my kava bowl. I do rice, chicken, cherry, tomatoes, cucumber, like diced up avocado. Um, so I want to do that. And then I'm obsessed with turkey club wraps and I hate making lunch foods, but I feel like this would be a good lunch food for me to start making. The only adjustment I'm making is I'm not gonna add mayo because sometimes there's mayo and I'm also not gonna add bacon because I'm just gonna be lazy to cook bacon every time. Um, and I feel like this will be good. Do a little provolone cheese, some avocado, tomato, lettuce, turkey, and like a tortilla and wrap it up. So that's a little look at my grocery list. I'm really happy with it. Um, so I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna get going to the grocery store soon. All right, we're headed to the grocery store. I literally slept in this outfit last night. <laughs> got my Lululemon bag here with my wallet and everything. And then I've got a couple um, bags for my groceries. Let's go. Alright, so just got back. That was such a workout. It's almost 9 a.m. and I'm so hungry and ready for breakfast. So I'm gonna put all this away. I pretty much got everything that I told you guys I was gonna get. Um, obviously kombucha. I'm trying this flavor, lemon berry. Two different types of ginger shots. I went crazy on avocado. They had so many good ripe ones. So I'm just gonna pop them in the fridge thanks to y'all's suggestions. Um, so they stay ripe. Pita chips. Guys, Brooke introduced me to this Ithaca Classic Hummus in Montauk. Probably the best hummus I've ever had. So catch me doing that. Chicken, I got mini cucumbers and tomatoes to cut up for my at home kava bowl. Turkey breast to make like a taco bowl situation with the taco seasoning. I didn't know what size tortillas to get to make this wrap. So I got two different types of flour tortillas. Um, also, have you guys ever tried the Siete almond flour tortillas? I'm like nervous. I saw them in the freezer section and I was like, hmm. Bananas, this avocado I'm eating today, <laughs> lettuce. I got the bread alone, whole wheat sourdough, three apples, some butter, blueberries, and then I got American cheese instead of provolone actually, and then turkey breast. I'm gonna put all this away and immediately make breakfast. I am so hungry. I talk to tons of guys out there that are like vulnerable, like they're out. Yeah, I'm out of your face and gaslight you. This is like fake thing. <laughs> Once in a while you do draw a lot of me. And <laughs> a lie. Ta-da! This is seriously my favorite breakfast. I've missed it. I haven't had it in a minute. Avocado with egg, tortilla, and hot sauce. Mmm, so good. I love when you guys tag me in your stories eating this. Hopefully you like it as much as I do. I think I'm gonna watch a little TV while I eat. Who is she? Um, oh, I also forgot I was doing laundry, so I need to put my sheets back on the bed. I started watching Virgin River the other day when I was getting my nails done with Mickey. She always plays like the new hot shows. I feel like, not that this is a new show, but she always plays like shows I either like or I think I would like. 
So she had it on and I was getting into it because I'm in there for, you know, about two hours. So I think I'm gonna, <laughs> also, I put myself as Madeline Klein. Yeah, I know I don't look like her. I just want to be her, you know? You guys know that feeling when you're like so hungry, but like you won't eat until you have some form of entertainment because that is me right now. I'm like starving. My food is just sitting over there, but all I want to do is watch Virgin River. My name is Destiny. Oh, what's that? Um, it's literally such a cute, wholesome show. It's giving like Hallmark movie, but like a little bit more depth. Um, and it has four seasons, and I'm on episode four, so comment down below if you guys are watching it. I'm really enjoying it. It's very cute. The scenery's beautiful. The music's good. It's based in uh, Northern California. Good vibes. Okay, I'm sleepy now. <laughs> the listening to jazz music probably isn't helping, but I need to head to my workout with Jane. She's my trainer. I work out with her three times a week. Best thing I ever did. It's really got me back on my fitness grind, and I just leave feeling so good. She's so motivational, she's so amazing. I love, I love her to pieces. But it's just like overcast and I'm cozy, like I just, I'm not there yet. So I think I need to change the music. I also did a lot of walking this weekend. I didn't vlog or like really post stories, but Ryan's sister was in town this weekend. So we were showing her the city, walking around a lot. So my legs are like jello right now. So I think I'm gonna bike to the gym because well, I guess that will also be on my legs, but I, just, I don't feel like walking for that long. However, I think I need like, different music. Play Soulmate by Lizzo. I love that song. Soulmate by Lizzo from Spotify. Song rocks. True story. All right, let's pick out a workout outfit. Listening to Drake, ice rolling. We're gonna wake up. All right, here's the workout fit. Splits 59, biker shorts, story apparel, workout top, my friend Eli's um, collaboration with Every Jewels. The planless Saturday tote. It's not Saturday, but I don't care. I love the tote. Um, my Adidas, my other Adidas sneakers that I've been working out in, shrunk in the wash and are now very painful and it sucks. They're nice and clean, but they literally hurt to put my feet on. So now I need to figure out what to do there. If you guys have any tips, let me know. So I'm out of athletic sneakers, but I have these. And a lot of times Jane has me take my sneakers off to work out anyways. So yeah, all right, let's hop on a bike. We're gonna go work out. I hope I'll feel a little bit more awake after because we have two podcast recordings today, one of which is with a guest, my friend Jazz, which I'm really excited about. Yeah, if you didn't know, I have a podcast with my best friend Brooke, Gals on the Go podcast. It's a really fun time. We upload new episodes every Wednesday and we have so much fun. And this week we're recapping our Revolve trip and what really happens on a Revolve trip. Next week it's gonna be our episode with Jazz. So lots of exciting stuff. Okay, I need to stop talking because I need to go. worst luck with city bikes it literally took me seven minutes to just park the bike so it finally would turn green so it's not running anymore because as you guys know I accidentally left a city bike running for hours and hours and hours not that for me anyways it's kind of raining right now but it's all good we're gonna get some workout in Woo. Workout is done, I feel so much better. I'm gonna go home and take a shower, I'm gonna bike back. But first, we're gonna stop by the Goop store because they have this hand soap that I want and I'm out of hand soap for my bathroom. And it's a good excuse to go to the Goop store. I love it. Okay, I've never tried one of the e-bikes and I'm gonna give it a shot. Apparently, it gives you just a little bit of an extra boost and I kinda need to get home fast. So we're gonna try it out. <laughs> just got home. I have literal raindrops on me. It like started to rain before I got on the bike and I was like, whatever, we're just gonna send it. Um, so happy I used the e-bike. It was so fast, but like not, it was only like if you pedal and you pedal a few times then it gives you a boost. So perfect. I definitely like the normal bikes because it's a better workout, but at the same time, if you're like in a rush, get the e-bike. That was incredible. I got home so fast. Here's my little goop haul. Um, this is like my fourth candle. I know the name is really weird, but it smells amazing. I wonder if it describes the scent. Of course it does not, but it's kind of like a rosy, fresh scent, and I love it. And then this is the soap that I got. It's the Grown Alchemist soap. 
It's sweet orange, cedar wood, and sage. It's so fresh. They actually have these in all the Delta lounges. Not all, but some of them. And that's when I discovered it. And then I was like, wait, I've seen that at the Goop store before. So, if you're on the market for new, some new soap for your bathroom, this stuff smells amazing. And I also got this. I'm about to light it because it literally smells so good. I'm going to take a shower. I washed my hair last night, actually. So, we're going to see if I can revive it. Because I haven't, like, styled it or anything. It's just air dried. That's a ton of clothing for donations. Don't mind the trash bags. Whew. All right, so yeah, I have about two hours till Brooke and I leave to record, which is the perfect amount of time, honestly. I'm in a shower, and we're gonna attempt to make one of those turkey club wraps that I was telling you guys about. Before I hop in the shower, I'm gonna get some laundry going. I just separated my lights and darks, so we've got those to go later. This is like becoming my new favorite area in my apartment. All my laundry detergents, I love it. Um, so this is color stuff, a lot of it's workout wear, so I'm thinking to do sport detergent. This stuff is amazing, it really helps with like active wear and swimwear. So I'm gonna use this, this is the laundress. And my sheets are done, so I probably won't make my bed till I get back from recording tonight because I have other things that take priority, but that's good that they're done. I decided I want a little snack too. Before I shower, I'm like doing all these things before I shower. I cannot wait, the first bite. Oh my gosh, it's so good. All right, we're lighting the candle. My apartment's about to smell so good. Ah. And now we can finally shower. All right, we are showered. I just put on some eye patches and moisturizer, pulled my hair back. We're gonna get ready in a little, but I feel like I'd rather prepare my lunch before I start getting ready. Um, so we're gonna, we're gonna attempt to do this. Okay, you guys, I'm really nervous because I've never really made a wrap and I feel like I'm gonna like mess it up, but it'll all taste the same, right? <laughs> Thing is, this is like a lot of preparing. I don't have a lot of time for this, but we're just gonna do it. Okay, tortilla, some lettuce. I think there's lettuce in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Turkey, American cheese, and then an avocado, and I guess one tomato I'll cut up, right? Yeah. And then I'll put it all together in the wrap, but I'm gonna like prepare all this first. I love the sight of freshly chopped vegetables. Ah, oh, I don't know how much to do. I don't know if I need to do the whole avocado or half. I did the whole tomato. I don't know, maybe I'll, what I'll do is make a big one and then cut it in half. Huzzah. All right, <laughs> we have the tortilla. I'm gonna lay, <laughs> lay the turkey down first. Oh, I'm already like breaking it, wow. Um, I'm gonna do two slices, I think, or should I do more? Oh my gosh, I literally have no idea. And I forget, do I put it in the middle, all in the middle? Well, we're just gonna find out. I'm gonna do three slices, actually. Well, I don't know, ah! This is all like coming apart, okay, that'll do. Then I'll just do two things of cheese, or one. Oh my gosh, you guys are like, is she okay? I'm like, no, I don't know how to do this. I've always wanted to make a wrap though, so we're doing this together. Got the cheese now. American cheese. All right. Boom. Ta-da. Okay, now we have, I don't know what to do next. Maybe the avocado. I'm gonna start with just one, because I feel like, I don't know. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna do well, what am I gonna do with the other half? <laughs> you guys are probably laughing at me, but gotta start somewhere, right? I'll add lettuce, that might be too much, whatever. And the tomatoes. <laughs> All right, we're done. I'm just gonna add a little salt and pepper. I don't always add salt to things, but I just feel like I should. You know what could be good on this? I'm not gonna try it this time, but Italian dressing could be good on this. I don't know though. All right, now I'm gonna attempt to. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, it's not as um pretty as they do at the grocery store. Oh, maybe what I should have done is like folded it in. Oh my gosh, and this tortilla's breaking. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, no. Okay, bad idea. We're not gonna do it that way because it's already starting to break. Maybe I did too much of this. <laughs> oh my god. I should have made it smaller, but that's okay. It's okay. It's okay. 
Ta-da! So this is just gonna be a really messy eat. I'll update you guys on how it tastes. Okay, update. I was able to eat it. It was very, very messy. I think maybe I should have put even less and folded it like in four corners. I don't know. Comment down below if you guys have any tips for wrapping a club um, or just wrapping a wrap in general. Um, I feel like you guys will come in hot with some good wrecks. But it was really tasty and it still did indeed taste like a club. So I'm really, really happy about that. About to start doing my makeup and then I need to figure out what I'm doing for my hair. I need to pack a bag because we're recording two episodes today, like I was telling you guys. So I'll bring two different outfits and probably switch up my hair or something. Also, the candle is already like, it, it smells so good. It's already smelling so good in this apartment. All right, we're dressed all fun and summery for the first episode. I'm wearing this really cute dress from Amanda Uppertured. I love it so much. The sleeves, yes, I'll link it below. Decided to curl my hair. I used the dry bar, like three day bender wand. I used this new MAC velvet lip butter or something on my lips. I love the color, it makes the dress pop too. Um, and then I brought like a green maxi dress to wear for the second episode. I'm so excited to record. Brooke and I haven't been in the studio in so long, so I'm bringing all the studio stuff because we had brought all that to Montauk. Woo! But yeah, here's the fit wearing my Ray the Label sandals. Let's go. Back in the studio. We're here. We're here. here. The yellow looks great with the purple. Very gals in the go Thanks. colors of you. Thanks. You know, I've been trying to wear more brights because I noticed when I watched the YouTube videos back, whenever I don't wear brights, I'm like, I feel washed out. No, I definitely know? like wearing bright colors. We're both, we're actually kind of coordinated. Yes, I love this. Is this fashion pass? No, it's not, but I know they have this dress on Fashion Pass. This is my personal. Oh, a personal, personal dress. dress. But we do love Fashion Pass. Yes. I've got my. I <laughs> ordered. I feel like I saw it. That's why. Oh, really? Yeah. I need to do my next Fashion Pass order, actually. Got all my beverages here Synergy Kombucha. You know, I gotta take a ginger shot before we start. I haven't had a ginger shot in like three weeks, so huge for the program. <laughs> and then um, a lip gloss, because I'm inspired by Brooke. She always oh. has lip gloss. Like right by her so when crusty lips when we record and it's just Is like that the Fenty one too? Yes, it's so good. It's a fun one to like put on, like the doe foot applicator. Oh, oh I just love it so much. It's, it's sticky so nice. but it's a good gloss. Sticky but good. Um so yeah, we're gonna get to recording and then we'll have like a little break and then yes. jazz will come. And Step we're gonna right have jazz. <laughs> We're in Jazz's Be Real right now. We just recorded. It was so good. good so it was very real. Very real. <laughs> We're being real right now. Do you like Be Real? Like, are you enjoying it? It's like not the best, but it's like, it's kind of fun. Yeah. Did you guys see Instagram now as a feature? Yeah, it's like show both. Yes. Well, it's, it's really freaking out. They're doing everything they're doing the, the most. Thing. Instagram right. literally copies everyone else. Sorry, don't shadow ban me Instagram. <laughs> Back from recording, and when I tell you I am running to the fridge, to get more of this Ithaca hummus. Like my mouth was salivating in the car, just thinking about the fact that I could come home, take a Stacy's pita chip, and just scoop away, wait, I need hand sanitizer. Just scoop away into some Ithaca hummus. I'm not sponsored. I'm just obsessed. Like I literally talked about it on the podcast today because it's just so good. ASMR. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Guys, I have huge news. I just put on my robe. I'm about to make some dinner um, with my groceries. I'm very excited to finally have groceries in my refrigerator again. <laughs> it's little things. Um, I have great exciting news. And you guys are probably like, oh my gosh, finally. It's been a long time coming. I found my apartment. I'm so, so happy. Oh, so you guys, if you... You guys have been following me along. I feel as though, just go watch my last few vlogs where I explain why I'm moving. Basically, there's just a few issues that I have with my building and I wanna try a new area. Um, I really wanted to move to Tribeca, NoHo, Nolita, just somewhere more that way. My goal was Tribeca slash Hudson Square, like those areas, like, it's like West Village, if you're looking at that, it's like West Village, Hudson Square, then Tribeca, then like Fidei. So honestly, Hudson Square is kind of perfect because it's like you can walk in, walking distance to West Village, to Tribeca, it's just to Soho, to No. I mean, it's just like such a prime location in regards to the places that I go. Because my dad was like, with your apartment hunting, like think about where you go a lot, you know? And at the end of the day, like I don't go to Fidei a lot. I decided against the Fidei apartment. I loved it, but I just like didn't feel like super warm and fuzzy to me. It just like didn't have that feeling. And I also like would be living there because Fidei has amazing buildings, but I don't do anything else in Fidei, and I, 
I don't know. One of the reasons I'm moving is for the area and I really just, I decided against that. Um, and I was just like, you know what? I'm going to stay in my lane. I'm going to stay with what I originally wanted, which was Tribeca Hudson Square. <sighs> if you guys remember from, I don't remember which vlog it was. It was a couple vlogs ago. On a whim, I decided to go to an open house for this building in Tribeca. And, or it's Hudson, it's Hudson Square. But like Tribeca Hudson Square, it's like right there. Hudson Square is basically like right next to Soho. It's like in the middle. Whatever. What everyone called it? Hudson Square. But we'll come to Tribeca so you guys can understand. And I went with Ryan. We went super last minute. I was literally obsessed with the apartment. I applied before I even got there just so I had the chance to like be approved. While I was there, they were like, if you get everything in like first, basically you'll get the apartment. And so I really thought I like got everything in first, but never heard back that day. And then the next day I found out I didn't get the apartment and I was so sad because seriously, like this building is perfect. The location is perfect. It had everything I wanted. It's very similar to my current apartment. Um, like finishes wise, which is what I wanted. Cause I, guys, on another note, I'm so sad to leave this apartment. Like I, I mean, I, like me and Sierra, my interior designer, like worked on it. Like this is like my first New York apartment and I'm so grateful for that. Um, but I'm just really unhappy with certain things and I don't know how long I'm going to live in New York. So I just want to like try a new area. So I was really trying to find something like with a similar feel, but just some other things added. Anyways, didn't get that unit. Then when I was in Montauk, I literally was waking up every morning and going on street easy and I saw that the same building opened up a different unit and she initially told me there wasn't going to be any more units in my price range because basically as the floors go up at this place and probably a lot of other buildings, the, the rent goes up and like I actually don't really care about view like there's way more things I'm caring about. I feel like a lot of people are like this, especially with New York City. Like there's a lot more things I'm worried about other than the view. Like it's nice to like see things, I guess, but like my current view isn't anything crazy. I can see the Freedom Tower, which is actually really nice. Um, but anyways, a, a different one came up. I was like, oh my gosh, this is perfect. But I was in Montauk and I was like, I need to go see this unit for myself because it looked like the view was kind of obstructed and not that I care about the view, but the lighting. I was like a little worried because there's like a building in the window. And I was like, okay, I really don't mind if I look at another building. I really don't, but I need to see the lighting. And a week went by and I was like, I, I don't, I'm not gonna like leave Montauk to go see this. Like, I don't know, I just didn't feel worth it. So I just kind of passed on it. And then on Saturday when I landed in New York, or Friday, right before I was coming back from the DR, I texted Mackenzie, my amazing realtor, she's literally the best. Everyone work with her if you're moving to New York City. Mackenzie Kyle at Platinum Properties. She is amazing. She's like on Instagram, I think it's Kenzie Sells NYC R E. I love her. I have worked with her last year. I worked with her this year. Ryan's now working with her for his apartment hunt. Like, she's amazing. So I texted her on Saturday. I was like, because I noticed it was still on Street East at this unit. And I was like, that's weird. And I was like, hey, can you reach out to them and see, like, I'm going to be back in the city tomorrow. Like, maybe should I just go and see this? Like, I didn't need her to come. Like, I didn't want to, like, make her go. She's gone to a lot of apartments with me. I was like, can I just go? And she was like, yeah, let me reach out. And she was like, yep, they'll see you tomorrow at 12. And I was like, huh. So it all just kind of flowed perfectly. I was actually with Ryan and his sister and I was gonna like leave them and go do this. And they were like, no, we'll come with you. And Ryan's already been to this building. because he came with me to the last apartment or the last open house at this place. And it was so funny. The lady was like, wait, I've seen you before. I was like, yeah, like I really want to live here. I'm applying for this one too. And she's like, oh, you want this place? I was like, yes. Like there was literally other people touring the apartment at the same time. She's like showing us around and her and I are basically talking about like how I'm gonna get the apartment. I was like, oh, are we like dating right now? Like am I about to get the apartment? Cause she was like, oh, I see. Like literally Mackenzie's so good. I texted her in that moment cause I walked in, the lighting was amazing. I walked in in that moment and I go send my application right now because I, as soon as I saw other people walk in, I was like, let the games begin. I'm not letting anyone. I love this building so much. I want to live here so bad. Very similar to my current apartment in the sense like the dark brown kitchen but this one actually has um an island so it's like instead of like the corner kitchen like this one it's like the back wall and then there's an island and it's so i could put bar stools which will be really cool and the living room's a little bit longer bathroom is really nice um there's a washer and dryer which is you know obviously i'm so grateful um and what else the amenities are insanely nice like i cannot wait to show like the rooftop is so gorgeous like i'm so thankful for that so yeah, I was like, okay, I want this place. Like, I just feel so good in that building. I felt so safe. I love the location. Like, it's so close to everything I do. It's so close to, like, the gym I work out at, like, three times a week. Like, it's just, I'm just gonna be able to walk a lot more. Like, it's, like, near grocery store. Like, it's just gonna be such a different experience than I have right now. So I'm really, really excited. Um, and yeah, so I went 
I told her that and then I immediately came home or no I didn't come home but like I was texting Mackenzie and she was like okay I'm talking with them right now whatever later that yeah later yesterday so I saw the apartment yesterday really yesterday wow yeah later that day yesterday I got an email saying like oh they've just done a background check on you and, and they didn't do that last time so I was like oh something else is happening and then Kent Mackenzie texted me and was like you're approved and I'm like oh my gosh so I was really excited about that but then I was like, wait, I need to see a lease. Like, I want to get sent the lease. I need to see this. Like, I, I still was like, I don't have this apartment yet. Like, what if someone else is approved and they're just seeing who signs the lease first? Like, I was just getting in my head. Um, and they want me to move in in mid-September, which is perfect because that's when I wanted to move in. I really, there were a couple apartments I looked at that were moving, like, August 1st, which I would have had to pay, like, two months, like, two different apartments rent. And since I got a month free here, I'm not paying like this place's rent in September. So I just be, if that makes sense, like I just be paying my new apartment's rent. So I'm really, really thankful for that. So yeah, this morning while I was at the gym, I got sent the lease. I'm about to hop on the phone with Mackenzie and I just like to go through it with her. I did this last year too and just go through the lease cause she's just like good at reading this kind of stuff and kind of explaining to me things. Um, and then I'll sign it and then it'll be my apartment. So I'm so excited bittersweet because again like like every morning I wake up here I'm like oh my gosh I only have you know so many days left here but I am really excited I think I'm gonna be really really happy in Tribeca and um, I'm just really looking forward to it so I'm so happy I don't have to think about it anymore um, I'm a little stressed about the whole moving situation um, but I think there's some great companies like I really want to use roadway moving it sounds like it's like all my friends have used them and it's just such an easy situation so yeah it's also perfect because my dad's actually coming he's like going to atlantic city with his friends they do this every year um but he's coming to new york city for a few days before that and i think it's gonna be timed perfectly where it's when i'm moving and like come on it's so so nice to have someone from your family like with you during a move thankfully i'm not gonna have to like i'm not gonna be like doing last year with my mom like going to target and buying like cleaning supplies I have everything, but it'll be nice to help have him help me like hang up stuff. I don't have to hire task drivers for everything. Um, and it's just like fun to have support. And I, I'm excited for him to see my new apartment because my mom's actually coming this coming weekend. I don't even know if I told you guys this. My mom's coming this weekend. Um, so she won't get, but she'll get to see this place one more time, I guess. Yeah, that's so crazy. Well, my dad will get to see both apartments because I have this until the 30th. I'm going to cry leaving here. Like I'm going to sob because it's my first apartment here, you know, but... I'm really excited. I feel really, really good about it. I'm I'm so excited. I'm hoping it would be so clutch if Ryan Ryan and his friends are looking at a few different neighborhoods to, because they're also moving. And I'm like, if they move to West Village, that would be quite close to me. And that would be hype. Anyway, so that was a mouthful. But <laughs> I was just like, I have to tell you guys. So I'm about to hop on the phone with Mackenzie, sign this lease, and we'll be good to go. And I'm literally just taking all this furniture with me. The only thing is I am switching out my couches because I want a comfier couch and I've already found one. So that'll be a fun little chat with you guys later. But anyways, ah, we did it. Okay guys, I figured out a way to show you guys my new apartment because I got a virtual tour um, of the exact unit. So I'm gonna show you guys this. Here's the kitchen. This is this is so fun. This is the refrigerator. Um, I love it because it's like covered. It's just really cool. I can't remember. Oh yeah, and this is the freezer, obviously. And then moving on over here. This is so funny. Uh, as you guys can see, it's super similar to my current apartment and the finishes, which I'm really happy about. I've really enjoyed this this type of finishing. Um, lots of storage, got the stove, and then what's different about this one compared to my current apartment, like I was saying, is there's an island, which is so fun. The sink is in the island, I can't wait. I believe that's the dishwasher and then like extra storage. And then there's a hallway when you first walk in, which I'm actually very excited about because I feel like it'll give me some extra storage space it's narrow but i'm going to use it like i'm kind of thinking about putting a full-size mirror in here so when i take outfit photos it has like a, a like a wall background rather than it being super busy in the back and <laughs> the things i think about um but also like a little like storage thing whatever this is a coat closet oh i'll have to cover that up huh or maybe i could put my mirror there 
another I have lots of mirrors then this is when you walk in it's a little bit longer of a living room than I currently have which I'm excited about because um, I got a bigger couch and um, that'll be huge for the program um, yeah this is the living room it literally looks so similar to my current apartment I'm so excited the TV will go here this is the view as you can see like when you get closer you can see out it's not just of directly the building that's why it has really good lighting still I think um but yeah you guys also know I'm not someone to have these lights on so I would just have those lights off <laughs> then moving over here hopefully this is not making you guys dizzy over here is the bedroom um again just a standard bedroom nothing super crazy closet um i'll put my little thing i have in my bedroom right now there probably i wonder if a full-length mirror would fit here i don't know it's hard to tell washer dryer just exciting i love the bathroom it is so chic i love the black detailing you know i have this white storage thing over the toilet here i'm gonna bring that it'll go there um this is the shower it's honestly like, oh my god, look, there's the tripod they use. That's so trippy. Wow. And yeah, I think that's all. So again, I'm so, so excited to transform this space. I'm obviously going to use the same carpets so that it'll even brighten up even more in here. I'm excited also because I'm going to get to um, purchase wall uh, bar stools, which will be fun. So I'll have some more seating. The plan is to still have my um, circle table that I'm sitting on right now right here and then the couch coffee table all that so hopefully this was entertaining for you guys i enjoyed it <laughs> hello hey girl how's it going so good i never thought we'd get to this phone call <laughs> i know i know I'm so i'm so excited. happy like, I know I initially was like, oh, I don't know, but then I had this weird thought, like, lease is signed! Meet your newest Tribeca resident. I'm so excited, I'm so happy, I'm so grateful. Ah. All right, time to cook dinner, finally. I was just so caught up in the lease and all of that fun stuff. Chicken and rice, I realized that I forgot to buy broccoli. So, and I don't have any vegetables here other than like, tomatoes but i don't really feel like having chicken rice and tomatoes so i'm just gonna do chicken rice i've had a lot of i, I have a half of an avocado left from my club wrap earlier so if i wanted that i could but yeah i changed it to my don't text hoodie i believe they're still on the website so if you want your own i'm obsessed it comes in black as well with white font this one is like a nude font but yeah guys on the go podcast.com we have a shop we're on fanjoy all right i'm gonna listen to some music and clean clean cook I don't cook, I don't clean. Oh, I'm just so happy I have an apartment. This is insane. Woo! Watching The Bachelorette. I just caught it, it's just started. And I've got my chicken and rice. Dig in. Ah, freshly made bed. I'm literally so, so excited to get into bed tonight. I'm gonna put my book on my nightstand. I'm just finishing up folding up my whites. I've got a sweatsuit in the dryer for like 20 minutes because I don't want to shrink it, but it just needs to dry off a little bit. Um, all right, you guys liked in last week's vlog where I showed you guys how messy my apartment is. So I'm gonna expose myself. Ugh, this is just terrible. Terrible, terrible, terrible. Well, I can like start doing some things with this. So gotta put more Topo Chico in the fridge. I need, like, this is bad. Like, I haven't even cleaned from cooking. It's literally already 11 o'clock. I swear I've been doing stuff this whole time. I was doing a lot of computer work. Then I got up, and I was folding tons and tons of laundry and putting it away. I also attempted to reorganize my active wear drawer, which took a minute. I am doing a ton of clothing donations here. PR, trash, I need to take out. Suitcase I need to bring down to my storage room. Shoes that just simply need to be put in my room. There's just always something, <laughs> but it's okay. I enjoy cleaning. It honestly calms me down. Making a little late night hot tea before I hop into bed. 
I'm doing the Rishi um, chamomile medley using an OG Gals in the Go mug. We don't sell it anymore, but if you have one, shout out. Um, I do like our new mugs way better because they're bigger, but I still have this one from M's. Ugh, I love hot tea at night. I feel like my life is together when my sheets are clean, I'm in bed with a cup of hot tea, and my Kindle. I mean, like, you can't get much better than that. Here we go. All right, I'm gonna change the lights. I'm gonna wash my face. Actually, I'm gonna put a little self tanner on my face. I use Tan Lux. And I'm gonna head into bed. I love you guys. I'll see you in the morning. Today's been such a great day. I feel like it's been the longest day in a good way. Um, so I'll see you guys in the morning. texting with Sierra Belanger. She is the gal who helped me design my current apartment furniture wise. Um, and I'm basically, like I said, bringing everything here that like to my next apartment. The only thing I don't think I'm able to bring is that chair. I'm really, really sad about it, but my next couch is bigger. It's an L shaped couch and I don't want to like squish up the space too much. And yeah, so I'm probably gonna sell that chair. So if any of you guys that live in New York are interested, DM me and I will literally talk to you um, because it's such an amazing chair. It's from West Elm, but, or no, CB2, CB2. But I don't think it could come with, which I'm really sad because I love it. Um, but Sierra just texted me because I sent her like my new floor plan because we'll basically have to create a new floor plan and layout based off of like those measurements. And she said, I have an idea for your bedroom that is super one hotel inspired. I don't wanna say anything until I know the dimensions will work, but if they do, I'm excited to see your thoughts. I'm like, oh my gosh, I wanna know now. You'd think, I cleaned last night and now it's already messy again. I'm gonna unload my dishwasher, reload it, do any other dishes I need to do. Also my toaster is like, it's time to empty the crumb tray below which I think is really funny. So, just gonna do some cleaning. a little bit um, me and Katie decided to go to the pool for a couple hours and catch up hang out we were really gonna catch up we're like let's do it by the pool so we went to Soho house which means I couldn't film so I'm really sorry about that but I'll show you guys what I wore I'm about to shower but I figured I really liked the moment bathing suit is from Hunza G this cover-up is from Princess Polly I'll link it below I really like it I think it's really fun I got in the water so my hair was like half wet half dry so I just like threw it up but I have nothing going on for the rest of the evening until later so I'm gonna shower put the shades down I'm thinking like listen to some Nora Jones play some like play some I'm already gonna play the Nora Jones light a candle that vibe and cozy up I have a lot of computer work to do and I was gonna like go to a coffee shop or like a cafe and do it but honestly it's kind of a vibe here so I'm gonna cultivate a vibe um, and enjoy that so Let's do it. I 
I genuinely wonder how long I've been sitting here. I literally haven't even gotten up. Like I just took the towel off my hair and off my head and put it on the couch. So my hair, I haven't even brushed it. That's where, but my hair is like dry. So I've been sitting here for a minute. I got so much computer work done. It feels so good. The sunset looks so pretty from what I can tell. So I think I'm gonna go up to my roof for a second. I'm also like freezing cold. I like to keep my apartment cold, but I'm cold. So I wanna go like thaw out on the roof for like 10 minutes, have a main character moment. I like to do that every now and then just to get outside. I mean, I've been outside today, but it just sounds nice. And then my friends Morgan and Mary Stephen are coming over tonight for like just to hang out and catch up. And um, they're gonna go through some of my clothes that I'm donating before I donate them. And yeah, we ordered Westville. I look insane, but I'm so excited to see them. They're like my best friends from high school. All right, let's go upstairs. All of our food just came. Morgan and I both got the chicken breast with mashed potatoes and green beans. And then Mary Stephen got like the carne asada and truffle parm fries. I can like smell it. It smells so good. But yeah, I'm about to <laughs> just, I don't even know. I guess they're just gonna go to town over here. Maybe try on some clothes. Fun vibes. I'm wearing this set that Poppy sent me. I love the last sweat set they sent me. It's like the beverage brand Poppy. This one's a little cute one for summer because it's got the shorts too. And I like the length of these shorts. So I think they do sell this on their website, by the way. I could be wrong, but I feel like they do. Yay. I don't know. I feel like I need to like set the vibes in here. Wow. I need to fix my hair. Maybe I'll play some, I don't know. <laughs> okay. I need to play some music. Okay. Bye-bye. <laughs> They're leaving with their goodie bags. <laughs> Yay. Good morning guys, it's Wednesday morning. About to head to the gym. Mary Steven and Morgan and I had such a fun night last night. It was so fun watching them like go through my clothes and see like what they liked and what they, they were like trying on there playing dress up. It was honestly so fun. Um, I, I'm i like literally Ubering to the gym right now because I ran on time because I was like on the phone with my dad. I'm just like panicking myself for no reason. like. I don't know if any of you guys feel this way. I've like talked about it I think before like I just get really freaked out about health stuff like Like for a while like when I was like having panic attacks I thought I was like having heart attacks like I thought you know, and I'm still like working through that like then I went to the cardiologist and I was like, please tell me I'm okay stuff like that and now I'm um, and like realizing I need to get like a gynecologist here in the city and a dentist here in the city and when I last saw my gynecologist like everything looked good but she was like you should probably get like an updated um like a blood test because I haven't gotten one in a minute because I literally like I like can't so when I was a kid I had the worst experience getting a blood test like they couldn't find a vein and it was actually traumatizing and I've gotten like some since because I was like on Accutane and they like had to take blood tests but I like really freaks me out and I like my dad is literally a physician and I called him and I was like I'm so scared like I don't want to do that like I could literally cry and I know it sounds dramatic but like it makes me really scared and <laughs> my mom's coming to New York on Friday and I'm like I kind of want to like wait till she gets here but like will she even be able to come in the room with me like I'm literally 23 years old and I'm like I can't even go to the doctor without my mom I've like gotten through going to the dentist like I can do the dentist now on my own <sighs> but like and what I really need to do is I have time today. Like I really need to just go do this blood test today. It's just like to check that everything's good with me. And since I get so nervous about my health, you'd think like, okay, I should get this blood test. It will make me feel better. But like the thought of like sitting in a waiting room and then like the blood, I, I just don't know how to like get over it. Ugh. And I'm like, I could wait for my mom on Friday, but she lands and then we have plans <laughs> that rhymes. I'm just like, I don't know, it'll be good to go work out. I'm just like freaking myself out and I'm like realizing I'm a big girl and I need to like have doctors here because I'm gonna live here for a minute. I don't know if any of you guys deal with this. Um, anyways, <laughs> my poor trainer today is gonna hear my wrath. Not my wrath, but I'm probably, she's my therapist too. Um, but yeah, I think my Uber's here. 
I'll show you guys my workout outfit really quick. I'm wearing Story Apparel, of course, because I love their stuff so much. My, I need to still get new athletic sneakers. Might go get some today. Maybe if I go get my blood test today, my reward will be to, um, what's the word? Get new sneakers, which I should probably bring the lab slip they gave me then. So I'll need to take this with me just in case I like have a ball of energy and decide, okay, I'm gonna do this today. We're gonna put that in there. I also brought my computer and stuff because I might do some work at a coffee shop on my way back. I don't really know. We're gonna see how my day takes me. Wish me luck. Whew, okay. Workout is done. Okay, I just went to press to get a green juice and a ginger shot and this happens to me like every time. I, they were like, oh, you're all set. You have enough points to get these both for free. <laughs> I'm like, oh my gosh. I feel like this happens every time I go in person because I'll like order like six at a time to my apartment for like the week. And I guess every time I go in person, I have enough points. All right, here we go. Today is the best day ever. I just got back and I came home to my literal two favorite beverages right now. I don't know what's happening. Um, GT's Kombucha finally recognized me. You guys know this is my favorite brand, Synergy Kombucha. The brand is GT's, but this stuff is my literal favorite and they just, they finally noticed me, you guys. And they delivered six different flavors. I'm so, oh, I've never tried this one. Unity, Charity, Cherry, Coconut, and Lemongrass. Oh, I think this is the one with more alcohol maybe. What's this? Oh no, oh, cola. That'll be interesting. Oh my gosh, I'm just like, Thank you guys so much, so exciting. And then what's this? A little kombucha, like towel blanket situation, love. And then Tobo Chico is literally the best and constantly restocks me, it seems like once a month. And I literally have four day. So I'm so excited to put more in my fridge. And then what's in here? Guys, I'm literally so excited. I just biked home, I look so messy. I'm like kind of loving the e-bike. I got home so fast. But it's not as good of an, a workout, so I don't know. But it's good when you're in a pinch. I really just had to pee. Um, ooh, a little, a little Topo shirt. I already have one of these, but these are amazing. A topo opener. And then I don't have this tote bag. I'm a Topo, it's a Topo Chico Summer. And kombucha, so I'm gonna put all this in my fridge. I'm so excited. I just showered and put on my poppy set again. I'm definitely gonna be living this in this. It's a good summer sweat set because it's shorts. I'm thinking about a round two for a Nora Jones candles lit work moment. I have a lot of stuff to do for my new apartment now. Like they just sent me all these forms to fill out, like getting connected with the management of the building and scheduling my move in and everything. And I'm trying to decide when I wanna move in. So I get the keys like, September 9th, but I don't need to be out of here till September 30th, but my dad's coming around that time, but I'm also like waiting to hear back from the movers, so just trying to figure all that out. All good things, all good problems. Um, Yeah, so I just have a lot, of, I need to, I am so thankful I have this group chat with a ton of other like gals here in the city, and I texted all of them. I said, does anyone have a guy I know they love? And like, Margot Lee responded once, Serena Kerrigan responded with one, Remy Bader, like they all just came in hot with their guy knows. I was like, I have choices, so I'm gonna look into that. Um, and I'm also looking into having a dentist here in the city just because it'll just give me peace of mind. It'll be nice to have someone that I can go into person here if something were to happen and I need to get my teeth cleaned because I was supposed to do that like last month, um, but I wasn't in Florida, obviously. And I wanna, Into the Woods is a musical that I was in when I was in high school. I was one of Cinderella's stepsisters, evil stepsisters or whatever it's called. Um, or just the stepsisters, maybe they were evil. I don't know, I mean, we definitely weren't nice. Um, so I like know all the songs from Into the Woods and I just found out it's on Broadway now. And I told my mom, cause she's coming this weekend. She's like, we must go see it. So I'm gonna look into tickets for that. Cause that would be really, really fun. And I'm like, I love dinner and a show. So yeah, that's that. Maybe I'll open one of these kombuchas. Oh, I also haven't take, taken my supplements for the day. I need to refill my supplements box. Got all kinds of things here on my planner to do. Pay my credit card bill. All the, I have to tell like my building that I'm not staying. They still haven't asked me, but I'm just gonna like tell them <laughs> cause I'm getting concerned. Um, so yeah, I'll check in with you guys in a little bit. Update, my skin was feeling kind of dry. I put on a loops mask. A lot of sparkling water. 
Gonna sit down here, grab my computer, listen to some music. It's like my favorite thing in the world because tonight my friend Ruby, it's today's her birthday, she's having a birthday party um, at Ray's, which is that the Cousin Greg bar. If you guys watch Succession, the guy that plays Cousin Greg, who I'm literally forgetting his name at the moment in real life. He's also in Sky High, that's like what I know him from. <laughs> Um, and like how to be single. I think he's in that. Nicholas Braun. I think it's Nicholas Braun. I think. Um, so yeah, he is, he is, he is having a party. No, she's having a birthday party there. So I'm going there tonight and Ryan and I are going on another date. He texted me last night, like we should get dinner tomorrow night. I was like, sure, let's do it. So we're going to try this new restaurant or not new, but a restaurant, an Italian restaurant we've been wanting to go to for a while. So. Yeah, I just have like, I actually have like many hours <laughs> until this. I have about five hours to myself, which I'm really happy about. Okay, it's a little bit later. I just finished getting ready for dinner slash Ruby's party. I really like my outfit. It might be giving daytime or like Hamptons, but like I don't even care. I'm just so happy that I've been wanting to wear this outfit and I didn't get to wear it in the Hamptons. This top, I will link it below. It is seriously the most flattering top ever. I love the puffy sleeves, so cute with white jeans. Um, I will link it below. It's from Revolve, it's for Love and Lemons. Jeans are from the brand Mother Jeans. I've heard a lot of good things about it and I understand the hype. This is my first pair. I really like them. They're not as, like, I, all I feel like all I wear these days are like really loose fitting jeans. And sometimes you just wanna have like a little flattering fit, you know? So these I think are like straight leg jeans from Mother. I'll link them below. I just wanted like a, a good fitting pair of white jeans and they just kind of like angle out at the ankles and then of course my favorite shoes ever can't stop wearing them we'll link them below they're from the brand ray the label they are so comfy i can walk really far in them and then for a little pop of color i'm gonna do this bag from jw pay i'll link it below as well um it's i got it on amazon i think because i sell jw pay so i'm really happy with this outfit i'm so excited I just got off the phone with Ryan too. I'm about to see him for dinner, but he and Luke just went to go tour some apartments together in Soho because um, they just like happened to find some good price ones over there and they found an apartment that they're really, really happy with. It looks like the living room's really small, but the bedrooms are huge. And if you guys saw Ryan's like room tour that I like did in a vlog once, his desk currently is like a fold up and down so he can open his bedroom door. Like his bedroom is so small right now, like he can't even have a real desk and he works from home and it literally breaks my heart. So I was like, whatever apartment you can find that you have a big room, like please do it. And they seem really, really happy that it's an insane location and it's very close to my new apartment. Not as close as we are now, but very close. Um, so obviously it's a plus and it's a great area. It's like so slash West Village kind of. Um, so I'm excited. So I think they're like coming home and like, Ryan and I are gonna go to dinner, but his roommate's gonna like apply for them or like I think they're gonna call the guy and be like we want it He like lowered the price while they were there. So I'm assuming like no one else wants it I think it has like a, I don't know. I think it's a good building So he seemed really happy about it. He was like this is the first building I saw and I was just really really happy about so and I know that feeling um, So I'm really happy for him But I think I'm gonna end the vlog here because tomorrow per request and I feel like this week in my life vlog is already so long. I'm gonna film an unfiltered day in my life tomorrow, which is unedited, unedited unfiltered. Like every time I start and stop the camera, like that's all. I just put the clips together. I, there's no editing at all. Um, and you guys really enjoy those. So I thought tomorrow would be fun to do a video like that. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this vlog. Subscribe if you guys are new here. Listen to our podcast, Girls on the Go. And I'll see you guys soon for our next video. Bye.